In this video, I'm going to be releasing the ultimate bank slash financial valuation model spreadsheet. And on this spreadsheet, we have so much to go over. It's one of the most complete tools for valuing financial and bank style companies. And if we come down here, we can see what all we have. We have a stock screener. We have Graham's valuation, a historical price, a tangible book value analysis, a multiples valuation, a ROA analysis, a dividend discount model, and an assets under management growth. And this will all roll into our output tab. So this is a very complete financial model. I'm gonna to continue to add more elements to it over time as well. But in this video, I'm gonna be going over exactly what it is and how it works. So let's go ahead and jump into it. And as you can see here, this may look familiar. This is gonna be our stock screener page. If we come up here, we can plug in a stock ticker and hit enter and we can see all of this data will automatically load in. We can also change the chart here. Let's say we wanna look at a 1000 day chart. We would just type that in and hit enter and you can see all of that will load in. But let's say for this example, we wanna look at Bank of America. So I'll plug that in and hit enter. And again, all this data will load in. We have some business metrics. We have our dividend data. We have moving averages and then a lot of other relevant information right here our one year return and our two year return. And of course we have our current trading price. So there's a lot of great information here on our stock screener, but the end goal of the spreadsheet is to find a fair value for this company. So let's go ahead and jump over to our first valuation. You can see we have Graham's valuation. This is a valuation model invented by Benjamin Graham. And here's the formula he lays out for us to calculate intrinsic value. If you've watched the channel before, you probably already know how this works, but essentially we're just gonna pull in a lot of these variables and plug it into our spreadsheet. A lot of this data is automatically pulled in right here, as you can see. So really we just need to plug in our growth rate projections and the current yield on AAA corporate bonds. For growth rate projections, I suggest looking at multiple sources, maybe Seeking Alpha, Yahoo Finance, any other sources you use for investing. And then you can also look up the current yield on AAA corporate bonds and plug that in. Once you've done this, you can see in this example, we found an intrinsic value of $39.05 per share for Bank of America. Now, the next thing we're gonna look at is our historical price to tangible book value. So let's go ahead and zoom back out right here. But essentially, this is a pretty important metric when it comes to valuing financial companies and uh, bank stocks as well. Warren Buffett has been quoted before stating that he typically looks for companies that have a price to tangible book value of below one. And we can see right here, it looks like Bank of America was trading below that value back in 2012. It's been pretty close in this time period right here, but it has jumped up quite a bit fairly recently. It looks like in 2020, it was about 1.39. 2021 it jumped up quite a bit and it's currently at 1.52 now i'm going to show you where i pull this data from essentially what you're going to do is you're going to plug in the share price here and the tangible book value here and all this other data will automatically load in we'll also want to plug it in for our current data as well but if we go over to seeking alpha we can find price to tangible book value let's see if we can go to our financials we should be able to find it on the balance sheet and once this loads in we'll scroll down and let's see, where is this? So tangible book value per share. So essentially what we can do is we can copy this data over right here. And if we jump back, let's go ahead and fix that. We'll copy this line of data right here. We can jump back over to our spreadsheet and we would plug this in right here. And we'd also wanna plug in the current value right here. And if we also go to Yahoo Finance, what we can do is if we go to historical data and we go to historical prices, we go to the max amount of time and we look at monthly prices. Basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug in what the share price was in December of 2022 and December of 2021 and dating all the way back to however much data we pulled from. So you can see that's essentially what I did right here and I also did it for the current trading price. But essentially what that does is that's gonna give us our price to tangible book value. And this data right here is what's charted out in this chart right here. And then we also have the current value coming from this data right here. So essentially you can just kind of analyze where it's been historically. You can look at what it's currently at. 1.52, that's starting to get a little bit high. A lot of people are comfortable with it if it's below 1.5, which it has been um, a little bit over the past year. But let's go ahead and keep moving forward and we'll look at our multiples evaluation. This is probably a valuation model, again, you're familiar with if you've watched the channel before, but essentially what it does is it values a company based on how the market is valuing companies that are similar in structure. So you can see, you wanna find good comparable companies. Again, Seeking Alpha can be a good tool for that. If we jump back over to Seeking Alpha, we scroll to the top and click on Pierce. 
we can see it's going to give us some companies that are similar in structure to Bank of America. I also want to quickly mention Seeking Alpha is running their end of the year sale. So at my link in the description, you can get over 83% off of Seeking Alpha for a one year premium subscription. But let's go ahead and keep moving forward. So we can see I plugged in this data right here. Let's say I want to plug in another bank stock. Let's just remove this. Once I plug this in, you can see all that data automatically loads in. We then take the average price to earnings multiple. We multiply it by Bank of America's earnings per share, and you can see that's gonna give us our intrinsic value according to our multiples valuation. Now, one of the things you might find every now and then with this valuation is that one company is trading at a way higher price to earnings multiple than their peers. And so sometimes there is a reason behind that, but it also can be an indicator that it may be over or undervalued. So something you also wanna look at is an ROA analysis. So we can see the ROAs for all the companies we were just looking at so JP Morgan ROA of 1.44 Wells Fargo 1.57 and Bank of America 1.3 so we can't see Bank of America is a little bit lower on the ROA than their peers but overall any bank company that has an ROA of over one that they're doing fairly decent so I don't think any of these ROAs are necessarily a red flag now moving forward we have our dividend discount model essentially what you're gonna do is you're gonna want to plug in the historical quarterly dividend payments for whatever company you're looking at. You can do that at Yahoo Finance or Seeking Alpha. And then it's gonna give you the yearly dividend payments automatically, which will allow us to see our year over year growth rates as we can see right here. It also gives us an average growth rate over that time period. So after doing some more research into the company, things you're gonna to wanna to also look at is our payout ratio. Make sure it's a nice safe payout ratio. You're gonna to wanna to look at potentially growing assets under management and growing revenues. Once you've done all that, you want to project a growth rate to the future dividends for this company. And you can see just as an example, I'm just using, um, we can say it's 6.5% growth rate and a discount rate of 8.5%. If you're interested in how to calculate discount rate, you can watch some of the videos on my channel. But once you plugged all this in, we come to a dividend discount model price per share of $46.86. Now, the last thing that I do want to look at in this valuation model is assets under management. I think for any financial type of company, this is definitely something you are gonna to wanna to look at because essentially it's gonna make sure that it is a growing company over time. Now, again, there's gonna be multiple places you can pull this data from. One of the easier places I think is macro trends. And if you scroll down here, essentially what you can do is this data right here, you can just copy and paste this into our spreadsheet. And this growth rate data will automatically load in and our five-year compounded annual growth rate will automatically load in. So basically you're just gonna glance at this and be like, is this company growing its assets under management over time? If you looked at it from 20, 2009 to 2015, you may be a little bit concerned because you can see it really didn't grow hardly any during that time period. But over the past five years, we have seen a 6.8% compounded annual growth rate, meaning it's probably a pretty safe company. So when we jump over to the output tab, again, I do wanna emphasize this is just example data. But on our output tab, you can see our three valuations that we used right here, and then our two other valuations that don't necessarily provide an intrinsic value, but I think it's important to take into consideration. But this intrinsic value is gonna give us the average of these three valuations here. So we can see based on our example data, we came to an intrinsic value of $40.01. Now the current trading price for this company is $32.39, but we do always want to apply a margin of safety. So let's say we apply a 20% margin of safety. Based upon that, you can see acceptable buy price of $32.01 and one cents very close to that current trading price so there you go that is how you use my bank slash financial valuation model in google sheets again i continue to plan on adding new features to this spreadsheet so that we can find the intrinsic value of banks and financial institutions Valuing these companies is a lot different than other types of stocks, so I don't think we should be trying to value them the exact same way. So I hope this tool is something that will really help us in the future as we seek to find their values for these companies. Again, if you'd like to be able to download the spreadsheet, then you can head over to my Patreon page at the link in the description. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching, and please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel.